morning, everyone. Welcome back to Growing Writers, the series that explores connections between writing and gardening. Thanks to all of you who watched last week's program uh, over by the salad garden where I was planting uh, new seeds. So behind me you see the wall garden where we have some seedlings that have grown up. Uh, today I pulled a couple of radishes and would invite you to think about the connection between these radishes and the product of your writing work. So here's, <clears throat> here's one, a sort of classic red radish, and I'm finding the camera angle. There we go. Uh, you see the roses behind me, so don't get the two confused, the radishes and the roses. Pull this out. Uh, it takes about a month for these to grow, and uh, we'll take them inside and eat them, but uh, before we do, Clearly, we're going to have to wash the dirt off, <clears throat> and you can think about the connection between washing uh, dirt off of some food before you eat it, what's the equivalent for your writing. Also, you can kind of see that there, this one has very long root. That's another fun thing to consider is that healthy food, healthy writing uh, needs some substantial roots. Here's a different kind of radish. Some of you might have seen this kind before. Uh, it's white, more oblong. Uh, and speaking of roots, it has several, I can see four uh, major root systems. So a piece of writing, for example, might have several roots to it, not just one, okay? Uh, and I don't have an example here, but uh, yesterday I pulled out a radish uh, too late and it was split in the middle, uh, so there's another item to consider. When is a piece of writing ready to pull out of the soil and wash and eat? And uh, when have you kept it too long? Okay. So those are a few things to consider. Thanks again for watching, and uh, we'll see you next week on Growing Writers. Bye-bye.